for it. Over there. Uh, since you finally acted on your pent-up passion for the Fury Megara, yes, little godling? These types of things, they don't escape my notice. And they're always so enjoyable to see. I'm all worked out. Ringers. Nephew, fewer worries there upon his brow. That underworld of yours all running smoothly and all that? We'll keep on pitching in from over here. Least we can do. Let's make some waves, right, Uncle? further still.
It's him, Baldy. Hello, sir. You take good care of Sisyphus there, won't you, Baldy? Good job. Word is that the most beautiful music's been heard up in Asphodel lately, Prince. From the sound of it, why, I think that has got to be Eurydice and Orpheus. You heard correctly, Sisyphus. Orpheus is reunited with his muse at last. Or at least he gets to visit on the regular when he isn't busy at my father's house. So you've heard of them, have you? Oh, I've more than heard of them. I'm sure you know how Orpheus once ventured all the way down here after Eurydice passed on. I'll never forget his song. Even the Fury sisters gave me a break. They were so captivated by it then. Ah, oh, good times. For me, at least. Certainly, that's better. Oh, thank you. Thank you, mate. Hope I didn't keep you waiting, ladies. <laughs> oh, would you just look at him? That smug look, that posture, everything. Please tell me you're not going soft for this trash god, sister. Come on, Electo. When was the last time that we looked to one another for approval? Besides, as long as we kill him, what do you even care? You know? Point there, sister. Very nicely said. Let's kill him now! So much for the fearsome furies. Found a world customs, got to purge a boon. The god won't mind. Up we go. Cheers. somewhere. More wave makers? Just fine. Don't worry, cuz. She had me looking after her and such. Seemed real nice. Told me to tell you hi.
song here, hon. See you again. Take care, yeah. Thanatos. I have arrived. What say we go take care of business here just like we used to, Zag? All of you. choices, such as what she saw in your gloom-filled father to have eloped with him. But if you are the result, then she is clearly wiser than I estimated. This isn't good. Cheers, mate. I'm back, Lenny, to kill you once again.
learny why <laughs> then i had another question about death so why is it mortals grieve so much about the thing i mean it definitely hurts there for a little while but it's not that bad they see it as their one and only chance imagine if after you perished that was it back to the infinite chaos everything about you returned to how it was before you were even there but that's absurd one life though yeah that's horrible even to think about i know right some of them know that isn't how it is and try to tell their kind about what it is we do here but it's slow going getting the information out either way i get to be the bearer of good news didn't know you saw it that way if ever there's something I can do, you need but ask. Thank you, sir. Say, Father, back when you drew lots with your brothers and wound up with the underworld, rather than the heavens or the seas, which would you have claimed, if the choice was yours? I do not deal in hypotheticals, boy. Each realm has its host of unenviable problems. You have never experienced the cold and sobbing sea, or the blinding heights of Olympus. I have, and I assure you, you're not missing much. Didn't you try to leave the underworld yourself at some point? You once gave me that impression. I always thought it was because you hated it here. I hate not having any choice. Enjoy the freedoms that you have. As you grow along in years, you gain more burdens and responsibilities until they bind you. Can't wait. <laughs> Poor old Zag. You like things nice and complicated, don't you? Apparently so do I. If you're asking if I have any regrets about what happened between us, the answer is no. Being with you, any complications there are worth it. You don't need to tell me. Two rules if you want to keep this up. First, we set the personal aside when we're out there. I better not hear a soul say I'm going soft on you. And second, keep up this slightly more mature thing you've had going for you recently wasn't planning on sliding back into the insensitive nonsense of youth, so I don't think the second thing will be a problem. But the first, can we really just keep kidding each other out there like nothing happened? Huh. Guess you'll find out. <laughs> Mixes with chaos, huh? How's it going, Skelly? Oh, hey. You just protect me. My keepsakes. should help.
time to go get killed again.